this uh, a great apprentice question, which is about adding to winners. Now, it's something which I cover in the Saturday webinars. It's something I cover in the 12 week courses. Uh, but nevertheless, I like to cover these things in multiple different places because sometimes apprentices uh, might have missed something. They might not have yet got to something. And I don't mind repeating myself somewhat. So, um, when it comes to adding to winners, let's just familiarize ourselves again with the Pitts Predator. Uh, window. Okay, so just a reminder, don't forget, this was the buy signal, right, which was telling us this green line, which is where we're entering the trade. And if you want to know where that is, that's where it is. And it's stop loss was written up here, which is here, all very simple and straightforward. Okay. Uh, and then we had this, which is where we add to our position. All right, so that's the point where we've added to it, uh, where we would add. And when we get this initial signal, we will also see the stop loss and we will have seen where we need to tell the broker to add to our position. And this add will also have its own stop loss, which is written there. OK, and it just happens to be this green line there. All right. That's usually how it works. So the question I've got from someone uh, is, right, if the price goes up to here, I can see why we're adding to our winning positions, because we want to start small, knowing that if we've got some profits that we've made up here, that we can double down and make even more profits as the price moves up. OK, and because we're starting small, it means should the trade have been a loss, then we won't have lost too much money. All of that makes perfect sense. It's it's a familiar strategy which hedge funds do, which is why we we copy it ourselves. OK. But the question that this uh, apprentice has asked me is, wait a minute, well, if it goes up here and then I double down, what if the price falls back here? Then I'll uh, uh, I'll, I'll have missed out. Whereas if I took the profit at this level, which is why we say here, TP, take profit or add, then I'll push, I would have uh, made uh, uh, more money because I would have uh, avoided the, the possibility that it falls down here. And that's absolutely correct. So what's the trade-off here? All right, the trade off amongst the most successful hedge funds is this. What they will do is they will risk this profit that they've already got in order to double down their position in the expectation that there will be a probability that the price will rise and they'll make even more money. This is why 20% of uh, all trades are like this one and result in 80% of the annual profits of a hedge fund. Now, the downside is this, that in order to get to some of these really big long ones, what happens is you end up having a bunch of these where you had money in your pocket or a bird in the hand, but you've lost it because the market didn't rally. And that's the trade off. Now, some people say, you know what, Alpesh? I would rather just keep it simple. If you want to keep it really simple, you have a fixed stop loss and a fixed take profit. But you won't make as much money as the person who, and this is option two, has a trailing stop loss, because that's the other way to go. You can say, well, Arbish, actually, what I will do is I won't add to the winner. I'll just have a trailing stop loss. And if the market uh, falls back, I'll get out at a profit and I'll have made some more, but I won't have added to the position. So it doesn't matter. So if it does fall back here, uh, at least I'll have made some profit, but not... Uh, as much as I might have made had the market risen. And then option three, the professional hedge fund type trader who is willing to sacrifice this game in order to make even more, but knows that uh, uh, there might be a whole bunch of trades where if it falls down, they'll hit themselves over the head. Now that's option three, where you're adding to your winners at this point. That's not for everybody, right? What I would say to you is start off with option one, which is fixed stop loss, fixed take profit, then option two, compare that with how you get on with a trailing stop loss and only then move to the advanced stage, which is adding to winners. Hopefully that explains everything and the trade-offs in trading which are involved. Of course, if we had a crystal ball, what we would do is only do trades which are big fat winning trades. Sadly, nobody has that, no hedge fund has it and that's why it's done this way. Uh, and you can also now understand the trade-offs between winning and losing as well. Okay, so hopefully that was very helpful.